Prop forward Alex Wamsley Twatry hero and men of the match in last night's 304 victory over Salford Red Devils at the AJ Bell Stadium was placed on report for an alleged illegal tackle and also suffered from concussion. Now he faces an anxious few days as he awaits the outcome of Tuesday's disciplinary committee hearing and the verdict on his head test. But he was still all smiles after Saints had notched their 16th victory and most important to date of the 2017 campaign. Wamsley said everyone was writing us off a few weeks ago, but we always believed we could reach the playoffs. We are a tightly knit group and will always back ourselves. Head coach Justin Holbrook added I always had belief in my players and now we're there. I'm very proud of the team they're the ones that have worked really hard. It was a tough game, spiteful at times and a bit emotional. It was important we settled down in the second half and we finished it off well, so I'm really pleased. I'll now watch with interest. Castleford and Leeds have two very different styles and whoever it is they're going to be hard to beat but I'm confident in my team. Salford will claim that their hopes of completing a better-than-expected season on a high were dashed when Ryan Lannan was shown a red card just before the interval for striking Theo Fages. It helped St. Helens, who were leading 124 at the time, quell their nerves, and while they were far from their best against 12 men in the final 40 minutes, they rarely looked likely to lose the game in Lee of victory for last year's champions Wigan Warriors by 90 points or more at Wakefield tomorrow Saturday, coupled with a Hall winner draw at Leaders Castle for tonight Friday, can deny Holbrook's outfit a semi-final spot. If Hall lose at Cause Saints will travel to Leeds Rhinos in the last four. A Hall winner draw means St. Helens visit cause.